as the first humans to ever venture out this far into the front. Too fast! Get out! I thought we were both goners. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the DX Camera Show. I'm Operation DX, and welcome to episode 20 of my Planet Explorers version 0.72 Let's Play. Oh man, that doesn't look good. We have to get these beasts off them. We have to hurry. Give them everything you got. Well, we have a fight on our hands now. This is actually one of the tougher creatures in this game. During the previous episode, we met up at Earth Camp and were told to find Aturo to help us set up our colony. We also were told that Aturo was searching for survivors of some crashed boats in the area. We did meet up with Aturo and found a badly crashed boat, and we're off trying to find the survivors of that boat right now. It was definitely a good idea to craft my blaster early on, as at this point in the game, if you don't have it, you're going to have some trouble. Now, these two little creatures next to this big creature aren't too big of a deal, but the big creature itself is tough to fight. you got to kind of try to find this little cubby hole or something to fight him, because that creature is vicious, and he will tear us up. So we're going to try to hide behind this little rock here. See if it works out for us. This guy can almost one or two shot us. Two shot. Yeah, see? Oh, he took me down. Hopefully I can revive before I fail the mission. Because if you're down too long... Oh, we failed it. We're going to have to do it all over again. Let's go ahead and take him down. Hopefully this will count towards uh, the mission's success. I'm not sure if it will. I think if this mission gets failed, you, it respawns the whole group and you have to fight them all over again. Which is actually not too bad because what's going to happen is, is we're going to take him down. Uh, we're going to get all the stuff that he, he gives us, like all the meat and all the whatever. And then we'll have to fight him again and get it all over again. Yeah, see, he gives a crap ton of meat, so that's okay. So we have to heal up and get our food levels, our stamina back up, and then uh, we'll, we'll fight him again. Um, the only problem here is my power, because the batteries are going to get drained fighting these guys. And uh, I'm going to need them for some other fights, so... Yeah, I'm crafting some more smoked sausage. <laughs> it's just the easiest thing to do. Um, and I, I definitely have a very large supply of uh, making these things, so... On the other hand, I kind of don't get that you fail this mission, as you're not technically dead, you're just using a revival shot. So, I don't know. I guess you're probably meant to have a crew with you at this point, which we don't have. We're just um, running with our quest crew here, which aren't super effective in fighting things. But, yep. The whole group spawned again, so we have to fight them all again. They all give us a lot of stuff, which this isn't actually, like I said, a bad thing. Because we're going to need to buy a bunch of stuff off of Turo, so... Um, not a problem. Not a problem. Sometimes these guys drop some special things. And they don't seem to be used in any sort of rare crafting recipe or anything like that, which would be cool to make some, like, rare weapon or rare ar armor or something. Uh, maybe that's something we'll implement later on. Or maybe these items are just going to have like a really high sell value or something. But uh, every once in a while, you'll get a creature that drops some rare thing. And uh, it's not really usable. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try this again. Hopefully I can uh, push my two quest buddies here forward. Because you can see I can't do a ton of damage to him. I'm just going to back up. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I can't get hit again. I'll probably fail this mission one more time. So I'm going to back up again here. Looks like he's stuck and he's actually focusing on my uh, quest buddies here. Which seem to be invulnerable. I mean, that would be a... I would think a fail state too, but... If they got killed. But it uh, doesn't seem like they can be killed. Alright, so... Hey, we got double the meat from uh, this one. <laughs> awesome. 
Okay, now this quest actually took me a long while to figure out because the completion conditions on this one just don't make sense to me. You're told to... Well, you'll see here. They're both gone. We're too late. Are they the only ones? I didn't see anyone else. Hey, Jack, help me dig a couple of graves. We need to bury these folks. What a way to go, being so far away from home. Okay, so this one needs to be done in a specific way, and like I said, it took me a couple tries to figure it out. What needs to happen is you need to take the boxes that you get off these characters, which are, I guess, containing their remains, and then the blocks you lay down must intersect with those boxes. I kept trying to dig it up and cover it with boxes. That's the wrong way to do it, and that's kind of the impression you get when you're told to do this. So, yeah, that doesn't work. In my opinion, this mission needs to be streamlined a little better. I mean, you should be able to just have blocks on top of the uh, boxes and pretty much complete the quest. But here, I'm going to show you how to do it here. So, well, you got to put the two boxes on the ground and then have the blocks intersect and then mission complete. You should maybe say something. You go ahead. They were adventurous souls. They gave up everything to get a chance to experience something new and wondrous. Even though they didn't arrive at their dreams, they should know that we will get there for them. We will not let their deaths be in vain. Um, now let's pause for a moment of silence. Well, that's that. Nice speech. Right. Now we just need to find the other boat. It probably landed on the hilly area of the map. I've uploaded it to your maps. Arturo, man, what are you doing, buddy? Sitting there just running against that block. That's just, um, well, that's Alpha. That's Alpha for you. Hopefully uh, that's something that gets worked out. Jack, you ready? Okay, let's move out. We're actually going to see two things in this particular episode that could use some uh, tweaking, some streamlining, and that was one of them, burying those guys. That can definitely use some work, because it uh, took me a little while to figure that one out, but uh, that is pretty much the only way you can complete that quest. And, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting, too, like, how I figured out, too, is I actually dug a hole, and then I layered the bottom of the hole with blocks, and then I put the two boxes on top of those blocks, and then I covered it, and that's when I figured out that the intersection of the blocks is what causes the mission to complete. So it's easier to just place them on the ground and just cover them with the blocks. So, yeah. I guess it's okay, but I, <laughs> I don't know. It almost should show you an example of it just because of how, like, awkward it is. Because I did spend a bunch of time and, like, dug a hole and, you know, tried to do that. Yeah, not so much. In this particular quest line, more so than any of the other ones, is uh, where you have to babysit these characters and make sure that they follow you. And it really doesn't help that the woods are such a huge fluctuation in hills and obstacles that can cause the NPCs to get hung up. And you cannot lose any of these guys. I mean, Raw, you don't have to worry about. Raw will always be there. She'll teleport to where you are. But uh, the other guys won't. They will not. Well, thanks for the effort there. <laughs> these guys aren't much of a help. It's all right, though. I got it covered. I got a blaster, and it's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. Awesome things are going to happen really, really soon, and I'm pretty sure that I have enough meat on me to get everything I need to make it happen. So, we'll see in a little bit here. Uh, we're coming up to find the other boat that crash landed somewhere around here. But anyway, having to fight that boss two times in a row really kind of helped my situation there. Because that actually, that guy had a lot of meat. Oh, we're actually a little further away from the uh, quest location than I thought we were. We still have a little bit of a trek 
And I probably should still be opportunistic looking for the mini corn and the red mushrooms and that sort of stuff. I do have a few seeds, and we're really getting close to uh, colony building time. So um, that's one of the awesome things that I'm kind of referencing. But there's actually something that's going to happen really soon here that I'm pretty happy about. Well, it's starting to get a little bit late here. Hopefully I can get all of this stuff done before nightfall. I hate moving around in the dark in the woods. I'm actually not sure if the crab spiders come into this area during the nighttime. I do know that there's a cave network around here, but you can kind of spot the cave network with a scanner. It's one of the other nice things about the scanners. You can see all the, the caves below the ground, and there are a lot of caves in this area. See how nice the blaster is, though? You no longer have to worry about crafting ammo and stuff. It's just kind of cool. I love I love the whole tech up stuff here. Um, we probably still will need to craft more bullets, though, because we have sentries uh, we'll need to set down for our colony. The second you set down those colony, animals just, like, come out of the woodwork and try to, like, mess up all your stuff. So you want to definitely have defensive measures. However, as you would expect, there are higher-end turrets that don't require ammo, like laser turrets and stuff. Um, but they're really difficult to, to acquire, difficult to make. They require a lot of materials and stuff. And just starting out, it's just nice to just drop, you know, four, five, or ten of those sentry ones. And those are sufficient enough to get most of the wildlife that can damage your colony out. But there actually is some kind of broken features in the colony building thing that uh, we'll, we'll cover when we get there. Lots and lots of aggressive species on the way here. And, uh, well, might as well just take them all down. Gotta get every spare scrap of meat that we can possibly get along the way anyways, because I'm going to be spending a lot, a lot, very, very shortly. We're coming up on a, another part where we're going to need to use the in-game editor to create something. And this is, once and again, an instance where I'm not going to show the build process of my vehicle. I guess something I probably should do, but when I sit down in this editor, it's different than other games. Because I really, like, spend a lot of time and tinker and, and do other things, and it's... Uh, a serious time waster. I mean, I guess it would be kind of neat to see how I, you know, do what I'm going to do it here. But, of course, the thing I'm going to build is relatively simple and stuff. But still, it takes some time to, to like, figure out exactly how I want to do it or whatever. Um, this time, I'm kind of borrowing a design that I saw on the forums. Just kind of like my own version of it. There it is! Not something you see every day. That's just terrible luck. Hey, anyone up there? Hey, yes, we're up here. Oh, thank God, we're saved. How many of you are up there? It's just me and another person. Everyone else died in the crash. We're too injured ourselves to get down on our own. Can you help us down? They're Martians. What does that got to do with anything? What's up? What do you think? Should we help them? Yes. Well, if you haven't figured it out by now, what I'm hoping to be able to do is build a air vehicle to go rescue those two guys. There's two ways you can go about this. You can either build like a ladder system, or you can build an air vehicle. And I want to build the air vehicle. <laughs> that was tough. Now I need to build something that can reach these people and get them down slowly. A ramp of some kind would do it. Or you can use these, but they're not simple to build. So you changed your mind about helping the Martians? Look, they're injured, so as humans, we're obligated to help. We'll send them on their way to Alfonso once they're healed up. We can do that much. Now let's get them down. Nice speech part two, right? Right. Okay, so this is the other part that could be streamlined a little bit. Um, if you didn't notice, I had to do a little editing there and slow down time so I could actually read the text on those uh, storyline markers. Um, the thing of it is, is you have to be able to get to that creature and get all the meat before it degrades. And if you sit there and read all that text, it'll degrade before you can get to it. And there's like a thousand meat on that creature, so you definitely want to be able to get to him. 
that could be easily streamlined by just adding a little time to how long it takes for the creature to actually degrade, and then it kind of doesn't become an issue. Okay, so we just learned a bunch of air vehicle scripts, and now we're just going to be buying the air vehicle parts here. This is why I needed a lot of meat, because these things are expensive, and I need to make sure that I get all the parts I need to fit the design that I've set up in the editor. And we'll see that in a little bit here. So, of course, we need some side seats so those guys can hop on, and... Uh, so I can bring him down from the mountaintop. This is a really cool thing. I uh, totally dig this. I love the air vehicles in this this game. They really control smooth, and it's it's not too difficult to to make them. So let's go check out the vehicle that I made. It's a really simple design. I've already actually kind of given this away in some of my um, trailer videos and the uh, the video in the beginning of this uh, let's play series you know you kind of see this thing flying around so it's not really a big surprise all right so we have everything we need we're going to export this vehicle and it is a awesome little exploration vehicle it's not really designed for combat it's just designed for getting around the map and now that we have this and after we complete this quest line we have some serious mobility but that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day and take care.